So is Joker the only villain that exists in the Batman universe? Hmm? Guys, come on, man. Come on. I mean, really, come on. Please, please, come on. Please, just, let's just try and learn and, and, and live here. So I was hoping not to say this. I was hoping, you know what? Matt Reeves, all these guys are going to go in a whole different direction. Going to go in a different direction. Okay, well, that We don't want to just retread all things right now. Because, first of all, I have my own views about Joker. I don't think he's actually... I mean, how great of a villain is Joker, really? Okay, you're psycho and you laugh a lot. Great, cool. And you wear purple and you have green hair. So what? Okay, I can go down, down the flipping streets and see guys with the green hair. So, Matt Reeves says that he wants... To, he's thinking of that there's a rumor that the Joker is going to be introduced in the second or third film because there are like 300 billion villains here. So let's just say that a villain does come, you know? Let's just say that he does introduce a villain in this. That would mean you've had Ledger, Joaquin Phoenix, Jared Leto, and now this would be like the fourth in what, how many years of a, of a, a Joker? It's too much. It's too much. And I think... The reason for it is because he is such a popular villain, arguably the most popular villain. I don't think he's the best villain, but because he's the popular villain, he's like, let's just quickly jump on that because everyone wants that. And I'm like, look, the Joker has been done amazingly well three times. Jared Leto, relax, chill. Even if I don't really blame you, just, let's, <laughs> just, just relax. But the Joker has been done amazingly well three times already. We've never seen the two of us done well. The Two-Face in Batman Forever was a joke. The Two-Face in Dark Knight was not well done. He, he was hacked on in the last 50 minutes. So it, it was not even pro pro properly done. Aaron Eckhart. Um, the Riddler has not been well done. Again, in Batman Forever, he was a joke since then. For me, and I think it was even my brother that even got me on this, the Joker, sorry, Two-Face is a much more complex, far more interesting villain than the Joker. And you can you can have an amazing film centered where Two-Face is the main villain, with him going from this district attorney to being this psychopath that flips a flip, flip, flipping coin to, to decide whether to kill you or not. Have you seen No Country for Old Men? Have you seen your boy Javier Bardem? Um, the Riddler, for me, he's a far more interesting villain than the Joker, because you know who, who the Riddler is? Have you seen Seven? He's John Doe. He's John Doe. That's that's who he is. You know, um, and the, there is so much material you can use to write within it. And it is a far more interesting dichotomy of Batman against Two-Face, Batman against the Riddler, because he now has to really uh, employ his brain and his mind. So I, first of all, I don't know whether Two-Face will be in there. Because that Two-Face was sort of rumored to be played by John David Washington and all that stuff. But obviously, Riddler is played by Paul Dano. But the thing is that you've got Riddler there, you've got Penguin there, you've got, you've got Falcone in there. But my thinking is this, because my fear was uh, there's going to be like 300 billion villains in there. But then I read a report that says Colin Farrell says that he has like maybe one or two scenes as Penguin, which leads me to believe that Penguin will just sort of be on the outside. Same thing with Falcone, but the main villain, I believe, will be the Riddler, which is interesting because the Riddler has not been done well. Noir story, detective story Riddler, it makes a lot of sense. Um, but I just hope that I don't we don't see Joker in this trilogy at all. Because you know, whenever they say like too much of a of a good thing is a bad thing, and when you just see it can stop, can be oversaturated, it's like because Within Jack Nicholson, Ledger, and Phoenix, they have sort of maxed out all those interpretations that, truthfully, the only interpretation that can work based on what they've done that will not feel redundant is closer to what Phoenix was doing, where, okay, you know, let's just, let's not make this guy really violent now and something a lot darker. I think Ledger and Nicholson pushed it as far as you could within this PG-13 setting. So anyone coming in, you'll either be doing a dehydrated sideman side chick class b version of what nicholson or ledger did 
or you'll just be doing something crazy and wacky and maybe too different, which is where you fall into the Jared Leto thing where like, okay, what the hell is happening here? So leave the Joe, just leave him out. It's, it's cool. There are all our villains here. And I and what I don't want, especially for some of these moronic fanboys, is oh my gosh, we must have the Joker, we must have the Joker because we love the Joker. Bro, Batman has the best villains amongst any superhero facts. The villains that he has are flipping incredible. Go read out Arkham Asylum. And there is so much material you can do with the Red Lab. There is so much. And there is so much you can do with Two-Face. If you get a really good actor, a really good actor for Two-Face, there is so much you can do. And I've always said that, and I think because we sort of mentioned before, Ryan Gosling would be a very interesting Two-Face. Because I think there is there is something that guy can do. There is something you can extract from that guy that can do. See, Aaron Eckert is two, 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 two dimensional. So yeah, he did a, a decent job. Homeboy is two, two, two dimensional. Tommy Lee Jones would have been a great two face, but he was a different direction he was given by your boy Joe Schumacher. But I think Ryan Gosling is a dude where mm, there's something in there. But that's my thing is that look, man, Joker isn't the only villain. And what I hate is you just doing the same thing again and again with Batman, Joker, Batman, Joker. Oh, I'm crazy. I'm really mad. Let me laugh. Yeah. Let me see. Let, let, let me do my laugh. I was like, bro, it's it's become tiresome. It's, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm, it's, it's boring. I need something. I want something new. I need something refreshing. We haven't seen Two Face really dogging properly. Look at what your boy Javier Badem did with Anton Shigo. The tension that you felt whenever he was flipping that coin. Go it. No, you have to call it. You have to call it. So it's like, let me let's 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 bring in that psychology. Okay, let's bring in that psychology. Like the Riddler, this is a guy who is see Joker isn't isn't a genius, not smart. So don't give me that crap. Joker's not smart, he's a psycho. The Riddler is pretty much a genius, he's smart because he is carefully thinking about the points of each of these models that he's doing because he he's so man, he's creating riddles for Batman to follow. So if he cracks the riddles, boom. That's that is working on a crazy psychological level. So that's what I just hope to, to see with this whole Batman thing. Look, as I said again, you know, if Batman drives a regular car and comes out of that car like a regular car, I'm leaving the cinema. So Matt Reeves, you know where I stand with that. But please, 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 Matt Reeves and your and those by doing the Batman, be refreshing. Do something new, do something bold. Don't go over ground that we've already treading or, or already bring something completely and entirely fresh to the table please thank you become a half hope sort member and gain access to exclusive videos and also the chance to watch films anime or different videos with your boy hh exclusively just click below on the join button to join in and become a half hope sort member to gain access to these perks just click on the community icon over here to view the new members only posts just for you.